Hey, it's Coach Darcy Eichenberg here, and some of you have been asking if I apply to a job online, especially on LinkedIn, uh, how come I don't get any response? Well, the truth is that the online job boards um, are in many ways big black holes, but there is a way you can use LinkedIn, and it's one of the reasons that I really advocate for building your community on LinkedIn, building your visibility on LinkedIn, and not in a fake way, in a totally authentic way to you. But let me show you, um, let me show you how that works. So let's say you're going through your LinkedIn feed and you even see a post like this. You know, here's a list of different companies. Um, that are hiring lots of people. Sure, some of these opportunities may be more local, retail, maybe not the right thing for you, but let's go to something like the Home Depot. So, um, so let's go and look at what are the open jobs that someone at the Home Depot has. Okay, so here's their page on LinkedIn. Here's the job openings. So there's a couple of things. One, over here, you can see who do I already know that work at the Home Depot. So if you found a job that was open, and remember this, a open job is a problem that needs to be solved. You know, if someone has, a company has gone to the effort to say, we are going to hire, we need to hire, we have enough problems to hire, they wanted to fill that job yesterday. Nobody in this economy, and quite honestly, Nobody in the economy we were in in January and February of 2020 was, um, was opening up jobs just for the heck of it. So an open job is a problem that someone wants to solve now. And so we need to follow the pain. So it's a, open jobs a clue. So let's say, first of all, now we recognize we actually know a couple people at the Home Depot. And we probably know people who are connected to people at the Home Depot. And let's say we search for a job. I'm just going to pick one that's right here. Um, so let's say that, hey, Director of Strategic and Executive Communication at the Home Depot. Uh, that's a job that would that I've qualified for. Um, okay, it was posted a while ago. Maybe it's on hold, but it's still open. So yes, you can go ahead and do the application piece if you want. Um, can't hurt, but don't expect that the feedback that you get or the call for the interview is going to come through this button. But here's where it comes. So now we go back to you know our network, and again, this is my personal profile, um, and we go to our network. And so we already know that there were two people um, for sure that we're part of our network and we go to our connections okay and we see all our connections that we have here and now we can search with filters and we can search with the filters that what we are looking for is the home depot okay and we'll take the main one although there's different variations so we want people who are currently at the Home Depot. So we've got these two people that I'm connected to and plus other people that know this person that I know. And so what I always recommend is not to message somebody here unless you don't have their email, but let's say I wanna go and I wanna say, you know what, I haven't said hello to Phil in a while. Um, I'm connected to him, I like him, he's a fantastic person, I'm gonna go and I am going to find his contact information. Oh, right there, duh, sorry. Find his contact information, most recent contact information. And there's an email. So then I'm gonna email him in my normal, regular old email. And uh, I'm going to say, hey, Phil, you know, hope that you're well. I was looking at some opportunities at the Home Depot and I saw that you're there or you're still there, whatever the right conversation is for you and your relationship. I wonder if you'd be willing to jump on a call for, with me for 15 minutes and just tell me a little bit about what's happening for you there and you know what's happening at the company in general. Love to catch up. And it can be as simple as that. So you found people that are there, and I'll, in wherever we put this video, I'll add some scripts as to how you can reach out and also how you can follow up 
if you don't get response the first time. And of course, if you don't get response in email, you always do have the LinkedIn message tool. Don't assume that people are not um, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is actually having 60 million interactions a day, something like that. So, okay, so let's go back and let's say, you know what, uh, I know Phil's at a different company now or something else, um, or I don't wanna reach out to Phil or Jimmy. So if, so if I go back to my connections again, and I can do another search. I'm gonna search with filters. And again, maybe, uh, so let's try the Home Depot again. Apply, oh, but what I wanted to do, let me do, try this again. Instead of just a first degree, I want first and second. So what that's going to tell you is not just who the first person is, but are other people that might be one step away from me. So here's Leslie. I actually have, know her. We're just not connected on a, a first level basis. So it's an opportunity I could connect with her or I could ask one of these other people who are shared to connect with them. So suddenly I actually have a lot more people who are just one person away from me I mean, it looks like there's, a, you know, 100 pages there um, who are a, a accessible to me um, that work at the Home Depot. And I don't have to find just one. Maybe I want to reach out to several. Maybe I want to make several. And maybe there's somebody who is more specifically in the area that I'm looking for. So that job that I was looking at was communication, right? So. You know, maybe I do, we add a filter that is, um, let's see, uh, industries, maybe it's human resources, maybe it's marketing. That's just, that's for kicks and giggles. Let's just see. So one thing too, LinkedIn, um, if you're not a premium member, LinkedIn does limit you to a number of searches and tries to, to sell you on it. If you are in an active job search and you're doing a lot of searches to find people, uh, I, what I recommend is use it until it tells you you can't use it anymore. And then typically they'll give you a month free and that might be all you need to do some searches. And then the, when the next time the month rolls over, you, uh, you're kind of starting over. But so anyway, so here are some other people. There's an organizational development leader. Um, there's a personal learning design, marketing executive. Uh, and again, you have to kind of peek at these people, take a look at who you might be shared with and just make the decision of, do you wanna reach out? How do you wanna reach out? But my message here today for you is don't not reach out. This is the power of LinkedIn. The more people you are connected to builds the, the spider web of other people who they would be connected to. So if you're going to apply online, if you see an open job online, and remember an open job means there's a problem to be solved, don't just apply. Then go and find human beings that work at that company. Don't worry if they know anything about the role, just start talking to human beings inside that company. I think you'll be surprised at how open people are to helping, how you might learn things that no one else has gone out of their way to learn, and that makes you stand out. Okay, this is Coach Darcy Eichenberg of Red Cape Revolution. I hope this little video was helpful, and thanks for being here.